Charleston Southern in the home blue on blue uniforms. The Bucks Road one on white. It is Charleston Southern to kick off. The game is underway. Dominique Williams at his goal line. To the 15, to 20. He's got a lane 25-30. Out to the 40-yard line. Knocked out of bounds by the kicker. Side is Rollins and Powell. Second and 15, they'll hand off. Stinson breaks one tackle. Now cuts back to the 40. Shoots out to the 45. He's going to pick up close to 10 yards. So no running backs. Austin Herring, three receivers to the wide side, a tight end. They'll go five deep, they'll throw, and that's actually Fallon Lee, the tailback, up across the 20 to the 21 before he was hit and brought down by a talented safety going quickly. Straight drop back for Copeland. Busted assignment, wide open down the sideline in trouble. Hammonds to the 40, to the 35, and tackled to the 33. And here's where the speed of the game kind of got to the Bucks. It, it Kyle Copeland, nice drive put together for Charleston Southern. Hammonds coming straight in. Is that Khalil Mitchell, 28 from South Pittsburgh? It is. What a play by Khalil Mitchell That's on a blitz, perfectly tied. From Jacksonville, South Carolina. Herrick on a third and long. He's going to have to try to hang on to the football. Spins out of a play. Again, showing his athleticism. He's going to toss it down the field to Chad Pritchard. Did he get a foot down at the 47-yard line? He did. He got what it. What a catch from the Elizabethan product at the 47, Austin Herrick. Gets well, away from a tackle and completes a 28-yard strike. So Watson with a chance. He's already got a uh, three pinned inside the 20, and he bobbled his snap, and it's going to be a turnover on down. Second down and 10. We'll check in with Jessica Larkin in just a second. And it'll go to Hammonds on the triple option. He'll make the pitch. Nobody to the outside. A lot of trouble going down the sideline is the third tailback, Mike Holloway from Atlanta, Georgia. Holloway just had the big gain. Corn comes in motion, the wide receiver from the right to the left. Now two wide outs to the left. They'll go option again, they'll keep again, they'll pitch again. Hammonds this time end zone. Suddenly they're running to the boundary side. So they were trying they're trying to run a two-point two conversion. Can Ellis get in the end zone? He will not, he's knocked down short. So they go a bunch set. To the left. Now they'll step and throw across the middle, deflected around by Corbin Jackson and into the hands of the linebacker cutting across to make the play, Zane Cruz. Two wide receivers to the right. Copeland after rocker step, he's going to step and throw the corner. The defensive back fell down and Pereira's going to score with E. So on the fourth and one, Copeland with a tight end each way. He'll turn, he'll hand off, first down, Holloway all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Charleston Southern. Two tights in the game. Runner in motion will get the handoff and he'll easily walk it into the end zone near side for a touchdown. That's Keelan Fraze. The professor, ladies and gentlemen. That's why I enjoy working with Matt. There's a handoff on a jet sweep coming this side. Breaks a tackle now racing down the sideline, trying to get away from Austin Gatewood as he dives towards the end zone. He's down at the one yard line. 35 seconds to go in the half, clock running. They'll hand off this time an easy touchdown for Hammonds. Nobody even touched him. A touchdown, Charleston Southern. So there is a right foot into it. It's a short kick. Charging yard, Hammonds puts it on the ground at the 20, quickly picks it up at the 25, actually up to the 30. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Now, Nick, you uh, you you come from a, from the famed Somerville High School down here. In Guys like, like you, Scott Carter, uh, Conchellis. Even uh, Jamie Chadwell, even though he's uh, with Charleston Southern. Right, right. That's and, you and can it, hear and everyone saying, "Get down!" Yeah, yeah. And he he knew he knew to get it on the on my good hash over there on the right hand side. So. Sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. Now, um, so he's a fullback for a reason, right? He's yeah. a uh, beautiful mountains of Tennessee to come come enjoy some games up that way as well. So on a second and goal play from the seven, he's running out in the first quarter, and uh, we kind of we kind of rushed that punt snap with the wind in our face, and uh, ended up bobbling the snap, and and that kind of. Set the uh, set the tone for the rest of the game that's gone on so far. 45 yard line, first time that we've seen a blitz from Charleston Southern. And Corey Colder up the gut, breaks about 10 tackles, gets out to the midfield. And not a very tall guy, probably tops out at 5'7". No handoff, Fallon Lee, what a cutback to the 10. Fallon Lee spins to the seven. In the backfield for ETSU, the quarterback hands Drew up the gut, batters his way, he forces into the end zone. It is a touchdown for ETSU, and the flags come flying afterwards, but a touchdown for Tony Drew, and the Bucks are on the board. And he looks like he's got uh, some momentum on his side. A nice little play action throw to Tyrus Rollins, in and out of his hands, a bad break for Sexton, and it's gonna be taken all the way to the house. 
a 82-yard interception return for a touchdown that's not going to be Nick Sexton's fault. Good. Five seconds to go in the game. Charleston Southern's last snap, though, handed off. And the Bucks will bottle it up at around the 22-yard line, and that will end the game.